Good morning, I'm going ice fishing. Yes, that's right. Another adventure today. Uh, today is Sunday, it's uh, just after eight in the morning, traveling to the lake to go ice fishing. I've only been ice fishing a couple times, so I'm not much of an expert, but uh, I could probably catch a fish, probably as big as they say in the stories. We'll see what happens today. So we're off, I got uh, obviously my layers on. It is snowing like crazy out overnight and today, so it's gonna be uh, very snowy out today, but not super cold, but Got our layers on, got the OG formidable beanie on the toque, um, and we'll drive out there and we'll see what we can do. So we just got fully set up. We've got a couple of holes, and this is what the hole will look like. We've got uh, four or five others, and uh, if that red thing stops moving, you run to that hole and you hope there's a fish. We caught our first one. So while you're out here fishing, excuse my sniffles by the way, your uh, nostrils will not stop leaking. Um, but when you have like, uh, lines like this, uh, you really, you gotta keep an eye on everything. Uh, we've had a lot of bites and uh, it, you're gonna probably be like, I mean, some of the holes are 50, 60 feet away. So you're you're running to them if uh, there's a bite because you don't wanna, you don't wanna lose your, uh, your fish. Um, they'll take that bait, they'll take the minnow and, and go away, so. One cool thing about fishing though is uh, I'm quickly learning, um, I'm new to it, but I'm quickly learning that it's a fun time to just chill, relax, and uh, bring some snacks, some hot drinks if you like that. If you know me, I don't like hot drinks. Um, but nonetheless, uh, with good people around, uh, it's a good time. So let's see if we can't uh, catch some more. We did catch another, but too small. Uh, we're catching some perch right now. Um, but there's any chance for a pick roll, pike, uh, and uh, we'll see if we can't catch a big one. Well, it's not mine, but. Nice. Floppy fish. All right, so if you don't like watching this kind of stuff, feel free to skip ahead to the very end, but I, I suggest you go to the end at least to see these pieces of fish in the frying pan. It's a thing of beauty. The first fish here, the perch, the small perch, we're cleaning it. There's multiple ways to clean a fish. However, what we've decided to do on this one is go down the back on both sides and then take the fillets off. You can sometimes cut the head off and go down the front and the back, down the belly, whatever you want, as long as you're getting your piece of meat, right? However, this is what we did. It's a little bit lengthy. If you don't feel like watching it, I don't uh, blame you. However, um, it's kind of cool to see. You gotta cut down the back, you gotta cut across where the, the bones are, you gotta make sure there's no bones inside your piece of meat. And then I quickly just show you near the end there of the meat coming off the skin of the fish, which is a satisfying piece. Uh, you get left with two nice fillets. Even if this fish is not the biggest, this was actually really, really delicious. Perch is not, you know, fishy in any way. Um, when you eat it, we, uh, we didn't even put any batter on it um, or anything like that for this one and we just ate it like that and fried up and it was absolutely delicious. Doesn't really taste, like I said, fishy in any way. Um, it was absolutely really, really good. So enjoy this part and then skip ahead if you don't feel like watching it, but enjoy.
All right, here's the big fish. I'm gonna spare you the cleaning of it. We did clean it the exact same way as the small perch. This is a white fish. It tasted a little bit fishier than the perch because it is a bigger fish. White fish are very popular where we live. This is the fillet that actually came off of it. You can see the size difference, the bones sticking up and no bones in the meat, of course. Check this thing out in the frying pan, delicious.